इमरान खान वीडियो लिंक के जरिए खिताब कर रहे हैं नॉन एग्रेशन नॉन यूज और थ्रेट ऑफ फोर्स एंड पीपल्स राइट फॉर सेल्फ डिटर्मिनेशन ऑन द इकेजन ऑफ द सेवेंटी फिफ्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशन वी स्ट्रॉन्गली सपोर्ट द सेंट्रल रोल ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशन इन मेंटेनिंग इंटरनेशनल पीस एंड सिक्योरिटी एंड एडवांसिंग ग्लोबल सस्टेनेबल डिवेलपमेंट वी स्ट्रेस द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फेथफुली इम्प्लीमेंटिंग यू एन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल रेजोल्यूशंस for peaceful solutions of outstanding disputes to create an environment of stability and cooperation unilateral and illegal measures to change the status of disputed territories in violation of the un security council resolutions run counter to this objective and adversely affect regional environment such measures must be condemned and opposed resolutely for being in violation of the SCO charter and its well established principles of interstate relations excellencies i have consistently stressed that there is no military solution to the conflict in afghanistan and that a negotiated political settlement is the best way forward as a shared responsibility pakistan has steadfastly supported the afghan led and the afghan owned peace process a positive contribution facilitated the us taliban peace agreement the afghan parties must seize this historic opportunity work together constructively and secure an inclusive broad based and comprehensive political settlement through intra afghan negotiations reduction in violence is absolutely imperative to help strengthen the momentum reached Uh, through these positive developments we, we 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 must also remain mindful of the challenges ahead especially the role of the spoilers the role of the spoilers within and outside who do not want peace and stability to return to afghanistan return of the afghan refugees to their homeland with dignity and honor should be an essential, essential part of the peace negotiations On the Iranian nuclear issue, we share SCO's call for effective implementation of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. We join our SCO partners in focusing on the prevention of an arms race in outer space and international inf information security. The overarching goal of the international security architecture should be the promotion of equal and undiminished. Secure, security of all states we welcome the emphasis by the seo members on data security in this regard we strongly support china's global digital data security initiative we reiterate our strong support for coordinating our efforts at this relevant multilateral fora to counter the gro the growing menace of narcotic drugs Excellencies Pakistan has been in the forefront of the struggle against terrorism our resolve to continue this fight remains undeterred we believe it is wrong to use terrorism related allegations as a political tool to malign and target any country religion or race it's critical to address the scourge of terrorism in all its forms and manifestations including state terrorism perpetrated against people living under foreign occupation in disputed territories as we commemorate the 75th anniversary of the defeat of nazism and fascism during the second world war we must learn lessons from history and work to ensure against the resurgence of such destructive ideologies We must also continue to steadfastly oppose extremist and xenophobic tendencies including racist ideologies in inspired by neo-nazism and islamophobia. We must resolute, resolutely oppose divisive policies based on preju prejudice and discrimination and focus on building interfaith and cross 
cultural bridges. It is imperative that willful provocations and incitement to hate, especially on religious grounds, are universally outlawed. Deliberately insulting religions and sacred religious symbols provokes hatred and violent extremism, leading to further polarization and fragmentation of humanity. Therefore, SEO members should continue to call for mutual respect of all religions and beliefs and for fostering a culture of peace, fraternity, and harmony. Excellencies, my government is particularly focused on providing relief to the poor segments of the society. And this inspiration we have got from the way China raised 700 million out of poverty in the last 30 years. In this context, we, we thank all members of supporting our initiative for establishing an SCO special working group on poverty alleviation. We must pool our efforts to fight the threat posed by climate change. It is important that all commitments made in the Paris Agreement on Climate Change are fulfilled. In particular, the commitment to mobilize $100 billion annually as climate finance. On its part, Pakistan is making renewed efforts to mitigate adverse effects of climate change. We have launched an ecosystem restoration initiative. I repeat, ecosystem restoration initiative, which includes the planting of 10 billion trees in the next three years. Fighting corruption and economic crimes is an, another important area of focus for my government. We welcome SEO's emphasis on strength, strengthening international cooperation in fighting these menaces. We must firmly oppose illicit financial flows from developing countries, which impoverish these nations and severely retard their development endeavors. Efforts must be made to bring back the stolen wealth to enable the, the affected nations realize their legitimate aspirations for development and a hopeful future. I would like to express Pakistan's gratification on becoming a member of the SEO Youth Council. With 65% of our population under the age of 30, Pakistan highly values cooperation in tapping the immense potential of our youth and involving them in the socioeconomic uplift of our societies. Excellencies, going forward, I would like to make six specific proposals aimed at galvanizing our mutually beneficially result-oriented efforts through the SCO platforms. First, we should create an SCO knowledge bank of best practices to fight COVID-19 in order to guide us through the second wave and beyond. Second, we should work out a strategy as an SCO action plan to mitigate the effects, the adverse effects on the economy of COVID-19. And it should be short-term, medium, and long-term, including by prioritization an SCO unified framework for emergency preparations developed in consultation with the WHO. Number three, we should take a united stand that the COVID-19 vaccine must be viewed as a global public good, affordable and accessible to all. Fourth, we should call for more measures by G20 to meet common challenges like climate change, deteriorating environment, widening inequality within and among nations, poverty, disease, hunger and sustainable development, and above all, the illicit movement of money from developing world to offshore bank accounts to rich countries, which is devastating the developing world. Fifth, we should formulate a multi-year a multi SEO youth strategy with a focus on building partnerships among educational institutions. Sixth, we should develop SEO partnership for technology, 
offering scholarships and exchange pro programs for youth in the scientific field. I wish this meeting all the success. Thank you. وزیر اعظم عمران خان شنگھائی تعاون تنظیم اجلاس میں خطاب کر رہے تھے ان کا کہنا تھا کہ اس وقت دنیا کو بین المذاہب ہم آہنگی کی اشد ضرورت ہے افغانستان میں مستقل قیام امن کے لیے تمام فریقین کو کردار ادا کرنا ہوگا اقوام متحدہ کو عالمی حل طلب مسائل کے حل کے لیے سنجیدہ کوششیں کرنا ہوں گی وزیر اعظم عمران خان نے کانفرنس سے خطاب میں یہ بھی کہا کہ وبا کے تداروں کے لیے مالیاتی اداروں جی ٹوینٹی ممالک کو ترقی پذیر ممالک کی مدد کرنی چاہیے خطے میں امن کی صورتحال بہتر بنانے کے لیے عالمی طاقتوں کو کردار ادا کرنا ہوگا عالمی برادری کو مشترکہ کوشش سے کورونا کے خاتمے کے لیے کام کرنا ہوگا افغانستان میں مستقل قیام امن کے لیے تمام فرقین کو کردار ادا کرنا ہوگا کورونا وائرس سے پوری دنیا کی معیشت بری طرح متاثر ہوئی پوری دنیا کی معیشت سست روی کا شکار ہے